Is it on? Mm -hmm. Welcome everybody, my name is Sammy Hadjassad and I'm from CrustyCritics.com. Here today I have the Nook Color, the Barnes & Noble Nook Color. This is a $250 ebook reader that you can get from any Walmart, Barnes & Noble, or uh, Best Buy. Now, uh, I, you can't get it here in Canada, so I, I visited all the way in Buffalo to get uh, a piece of this. And uh, I've got to tell you whether or not it's worth it, and we'll see that through the review. As you can see, it's a fairly slim device with a nice, beautiful 7-inch touch screen that encourages you to touch the future of reading every time you turn it on. And I've never had such an invitation before. In fact, I've never been inv invited to touch anything in particular. Uh, this will be the first time that I'll be told to touch something in particular. And you know what? I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know where to start. Uh, let's take a look first, though, at the ports. We've got only one port on the top. That's your 3.5mm jack for your headphones or speakers. And on the bottom, we have a charging USB mini port. Um, and that's about it. On the sides, we have a power, a power button and uh, a volume, uh, two volume buttons, volume up and down. And on the m main face of the device we have an N, which is, uh, I suppose it stands for Nook, but that's your home button. As I press that, the device turns on. We've got uh, a, an Android slider that unlocks the device right here. Oops. Unlocks the device right there, and we're presented with the home screen. Now again, this is running Android 2.1, with a special Barnes & Noble Nook interface similar to Sense UI, uh, I mean HTC Sense UI or Motorola's Moto Blur. So this is a special interface special for the Nook and no other Android device will have it. So here you can see your books, your shelf and uh, any of your books that you're interested in will show up here. Now they're still taking a little bit of time to load but this shows that I can take a book, now this is Dracula and uh, I can Say I'm really interested in Dracula and I want it to be, the ma it's the main book I'm interested in. I can grab it by the corners and make it nice and big and wide. I'm so into vampires and old school vampires at that, that I have to see this, pic this book every time I turn it on, that nice and big. But what happens if I'm afraid of vampires, you know, uh, and I want to get rid of that, I can put it over here, drag it right back into my shelf, and get it out of the way. Uh, also on the device we have um, this button here, which launches our little a uh, menu, a soft menu, and I can check my library over here in a nice little grid format. As well, the device has support for magazines, newspapers, uh, as well as any other books that you have. Now, one issue that Canadians will have is that if they don't have a U.S. shipping address, they will be unable to buy something from the market or the shop, as I'll demonstrate right now. Uh, I'm really interested in cars, so I'm going to go look for a car magazine. Let's see. I am interested in cars, I said. Where is it here? Technology. That'll do. Okay, car and driver. There it is. Perfect. I'll click on that. Free trial. Let's give this a shot. Start my free trial. Product can only be sold to a customer with a U.S. billing address. Well, that's a big shame because if you haven't noticed, the device is quite fast. It's uh, quite responsive. I've got no, really, I've got no complaints about how to use the device except for that, really. But uh, you know what? That's not the only. That's that's not the only thing. It's it's good for buying things off the market. I mean, you can sideload apps onto its browser, and you can take a look at the My Files. And you can find them and uh, load them from there. Additionally, there is a pretty powerful browser. Uh, it is an Android 2.1 device. Again, I'm going to repeat myself with that. That means that there's no flash support. Um, it's kind of interesting to see that the home page on the, on the device takes forever to load. I mean, I've pressed, I've got nothing but a white screen here. There it goes. But if I go to any other website, let's say I want to go to our home page, it takes me there fairly quickly, at least without uh, as much of a delay as it did for the Barnes & Noble site. Oh, maybe I jinxed it there. Well, that's a shame. Um, it was, it was a lot faster earlier on. Maybe I'll try it again. Oh, there we go. Um, another thing to note is that it's, it has an accelerometer. I can tilt it nice and uh, this way and uh, this way and maybe even this way. I don't know if we can do upside down. Nope. 
but uh, it did change uh, direction quite quickly, which is uh, a change from my uh, smartphone, which sometimes needs a, a little bit more than a second to, to know which way is up. Um, which is which is nice. Uh, this this is running an 800 megahertz processor. It's got five gigabytes of onboard storage, as well as a uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. So it's quite in line with any of our modern high-end smartphones. Um, with the only exception, it's not dual core. Well, that's that sort of stuff is coming out this day, uh, these days. As well on the extras, we have a couple of uh, additional apps. We have chess. Crossword and Sudoku for those people who like to play games. We also have a contact app that allows you to um, talk, chat with any of your contacts. We also have a gallery which shows videos and pictures. This is, these are some pictures I loaded on the device from my recent trip to the Middle East, uh, as well as at a zoo. So let's take a look at this nice little parrot I have here. And again, accelerometer uh, accelerated here. Nice and cool. And you can slide through them just like that. Um, it does have support for videos, but I'm, although I'm not sure what format. I did put some videos on here, but uh, unfortunately it can't find those. Um, instead, there's a, a video, a, a, a built-in video of some lady who's talking a lot about this device. And I'm not really interested in seeing that. I don't know if you are. But uh, we'll go right back to the extras. It also has a music player, which, uh, which is nothing uh, out of the ordinary, or, or it's nothing to, to write home about, really. I mean, it just plays music. Uh, one of the neat things to point out uh, well, as I lower the volume on the device is that it does have a speaker right here. Now, the problem is that this is a mono speaker as opposed to a stereo speaker. only comes out of this one thing here. But, of course, if you put your headphones in, well, stereo sound all the way. Very cool. Uh, let's take a look at what it's like to read a book on the device. Now, here I'm looking. I'm reading um, Dracula, as I mentioned before. Uh, I click on the center to get my uh, my little menu, and I can move back and forth through my book, no problem, very quickly. And I've definitely had, I like, I have no complaints about how fast it is to to read through a book. Uh, there's a lot of other options that you can have. Uh, if I'm interested in this. I can uh, select some text, and okay. And you know what? I like that passage. I'm going to send it to my buddies on Facebook. Uh, that's pretty cool. I think that's uh, that's really interesting. It might scare some people too, but uh, you know, maybe not everyone's writing, uh, reading Dracula. You also have uh, the ability to change the text, make it bigger or smaller change the font, and even change some of the color schemes here so that it might be better for you to read at other times of the day, so a night reading, which is easier to see. Additionally, there's a little bookmark that has that comes up here. Where did it go? There it is. Uh, a bookmark that can appear and disappear, and uh, I think that's a little, a little interesting, although I, do pref I would prefer it if the device, as soon as I launched the book, knew exactly where I was last. Uh, I think that's about it for now, except for I do have one more thing to show off, and that's the children's book, which is kind of interesting. You can now set uh, your child in front of a device and, uh, well, sh read to them instead of you reading them to bed, I suppose. Let me crank up the volume. Now, of course, this is a, um, well, they say that this is how the elephant got their trunk, his trunk, but I don't know if this is quite true. I've looked at this book, and I don't see any scientific uh, evidence of this being the truth. And quite frankly, I wouldn't give this to my child because, you know, they'll just come back and ask me a lot of questions. In the end, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the Nook Color. Uh, I did buy the device having a little bit more in mind on the, on the Android uh, gadget bit, and I'll, and I'll make a second video on that in, uh, in a bit. But this is the uh, out-of-box experience that one would experience with or, or have with the device. Um, and it's not, uh, it's not unpleasant, although I wouldn't really recommend it for Canadians based on the fact that the store doesn't really work here. If you do have a way of putting um, PDFs or other files onto the device, be my guest, you might enjoy this device a lot more than I'm giving it credit for. But uh, other than that, you know, I, there are some other things that will... Uh, 
entice buyers, and that might be seen on development and in the community, uh, and from the community. In uh, in in total, the device does get about eight hours of battery life, and uh, I mean I th I thoroughly enjoy it in stock form. I think it's a great browser and can pass some time with those games as well as some books. But uh, other than that, it, you'll have to be a hard pressed or, or hardcore book reader to really want to go out and grab one of these. Uh, that's it for me, and that's it for the Nook Color uh, for now. Next time I'll get to you with a little bit cooler stuff, and uh, I'll show off what this device can really do. Again, I'm Sammy Hadjassad from the Krusty Critics, and this is the Nook Color. Thanks for watching.